Welcome. For our 60th video together and the first year anniversary of this YouTube channel, I wanted to take a break from our usual talks and do something fun. I'm going to share the kit I carry every day with me as a radiologist. And I'm going to step in front of the camera for this one. This is my mouse. It's the Naga V2 Hyperspeed Mouse by Razer. My favorite thing about this mouse is this feature on its side. It's a grid of 12 buttons that I can program. When uh, I'm usually reading x-ray or CT or an MRI, one of my hands is holding the speech mic, one of my hands is obviously holding a mouse, and it's often necessary to drop one of those objects every time I have to, say, change a window or change a series because you have to hit something on the keyboard. With this grid of 12 buttons here, I can get away with reading studies and never have to touch the keyboard unless I'm typing in a patient's name or something. So in my case, um, there are three um, buttons in the first row and there's four rows of these. In the first row, I'll uh, code these buttons to be invert image, previous series, next series. In the second row of three buttons, um, these buttons serve soft tissue, lung, and bone windows. In the third row of three buttons, I have these programmed as draw arrow, save annotations, and reset image. And then in the bottom row of three, um, I set these to be measurement calipers, uh, measure ROI, and the 12th the, the 12 button here, uh, I use this, uh, this polygon tool that lets me measure areas of polygons I draw. And it's really great. It's uh, comfortable, pretty ergonomic, the weight is just right, and it has just enough inertia that scrolling um, is a breeze. And you never have to kind of get feel tired um, after using, say, those like kind of cheap, lighter, smaller mice. So very ergonomic. The mouse also has the ability to change the mouse tracking speed on the fly, which comes really, really helpful when I have to say, scroll through a thin section chest CT study with like hundreds of images and wanna be able to make it through relatively efficiently. This mouse is great because it doesn't require a driver. So I can use it at any PAX station I sit down at because usually for a PAX, you don't have the privilege to be able to install a driver if you all wanted to. The mouse is wireless. It works over either Bluetooth or a proprietary wireless connection with a USB dongle. And what's kind of cool is that the dongle, if you're gonna use the proprietary wireless mode, is stored inside the mouse under its lid. And it's this tiny little object here you can put into the computer. And when you're done, put it back into the mouse so you don't lose it. And then this clips together magnetically. The mouse runs on a single AA battery and it lasts several hundred hours. So it's one of the most valuable things I keep with me whenever I'm working. Here's my laptop. It's an Apple 16 inch MacBook Pro with an M1 Max processor, 64 gigs of RAM and four terabytes of storage. I'm a Mac guy in the Apple ecosystem and with all of the Macs that Apple sells, this is the one I carry with me at work every day. One of the most important features to me of this laptop is its screen. It's literally the nicest screen I've ever owned. Not only is the screen really, really expansive for a portable, but the dynamic range, the color, brightness, the refresh rates are just top notch. I love having this laptop with me because when I teach at the workstation, I often will refer to my database of teaching files in a .com format over the Osiris app. And being able to show residents cases on this screen just really makes it that much uh, nicer of an experience when we're doing teaching cases together. I use this laptop for everything else in my life, both work and personal. From a work perspective, I use this laptop to generate all my presentations, including the presentations you've seen. It's nice to be able to have this much real estate when you're kind of putting together a talk and maybe you have some windows open because you're checking, you know, maybe references and stuff like that and to be able to take it to a coffee shop is great. Uh, I also write iOS software, and when you're developing software, it's nice to have as much screen real estate as possible. 
The laptop has really outstanding battery life. So even on days where maybe I forgot to pack my charger, I can usually get through the day with no problem at all. The only downside of this laptop is just how large and heavy it is, which basically means that I usually have to have a backpack with me so that I can carry it to and from work. But I really love this machine. Here's my tablet. It's an Apple 11 inch iPad Pro. I've had it for a number of years now. I love using this device when I'm showing residents teaching cases using my 16 inch MacBook Pro. Because they're looking at the case in Osirix on the screen of my MacBook Pro, I don't want to be interrupting their workflow. So I'm using this iPad to look up any notes I may need to refer to, um, perhaps references, or even slides from presentations I might have given so that we can kind of talk about things together. Um, I really like this iPad when I'm traveling as well. The 16 inch MacBook Pro I carry is a great machine, but really, really hard to use, especially when you're sitting in economy class. And this iPad Pro comes in really, really handy when you're traveling. Since I'm in the Apple ecosystem, it probably comes as no surprise that the phone I choose to carry is an iPhone, and I use the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I like the extra screen real estate compared to the iPhone 15 Pros. I've always been a big fan of elegant, minimalist, coherent design when it came to both hardware and software user interface. And so I think that's probably one big reason why I've always kind of been gravitating towards Apple's iPhones. On this particular generation of devices, the cameras are, are really great, not, not a big surprise. And I really like the USB-C um, port at the bottom now. Not only does that mean I don't have to carry a lightning cable anymore because all the other devices I carry charge over USB-C, but it also means that when I have to move big files both on or off of my phone, um, it happens so much faster than over lightning. The um, phone is great. The um, one downside or I guess uh, disappointment this, uh, this year have been the fine woven iPhone cases that Apple's been selling. Traditionally, the leather iPhone cases Apple sold have been really, really great in my opinion. But the current generation of fun woven cases, they just um, don't wear very well. Uh, the one I had just got really, really dingy after only a few months of use, which is, I guess, a shame considering that the price they're charging is still what they charged for the leather cases just a couple of months ago. So I don't think it's a very, very good deal. I was able to find a really good match though for Apple's old leather cases from a company called Bear, and this is called their skin case. It's uh, very similar to the Apple leather cases of old, um, very minimalist design. And the bottom of the phone is completely covered by the case, which I prefer. And the buttons are metal and they click really, really nice. So I think with this case, I'd say I'm pretty happy. Here's my wallet. It's an Apple MagSafe wallet. I'm a bit of a minimalist when it comes to wallets. I just carry three cards with me, my driver's license and two credit cards. Uh, because I live in Los Angeles, I can usually get away without having to carry cash with me. And I like these MagSafe wallets because they attach magnetically to my iPhone, which basically means that it's one fewer item I have to worry about accidentally misplacing or leaving behind when I'm just going throughout my day. The um, Apple MagSafe wallets that have been sold in the last year have also been made out of that fine woven material like the iPhone cases. I tried them too. The um, MagSafe wallets just got even um, you know, more dingy more quickly uh, than the iPhone cases did. And so I ended up switching back to one of the older leather um, MagSafe wallets I bought from Apple about two years ago. I'm a big fan of mechanical watches like my Explorer, my Big Pilot, and my Speedmaster. However, as a radiologist working in dark reading rooms all the time, I find that mechanical watches like these are sometimes a little impractical. The, um, the faces, despite the presence of loom, can be sometimes tough to read um, in a dark reading room. But more importantly, I've been burned on a number of occasions when an important phone call or text message or email came in and because my phone's on silent and I'm focusing on the pack screen the entire time, um, I might have missed this um, important um, phone call or notification, what have you, for hours. 
And so because of that, I've started to wear a Apple Watch at work instead of my mechanical watch. And this is the Apple Watch Series 9. These Apple Watches may not have the same style, um, but they're very easy to read in the dark reading room. And I think more importantly, if someone needs to get a hold of me, um, I won't miss that, um, that notification. These are my earbuds. Um, I carry the second generation EarPods Pro. Um, I feel like I'm doing an Apple commercial almost at this point, but, but anyways, I, I do like these earbuds a lot. Um, compared to the third generation non-pro AirPods, um, these don't fit quite as nice, but you just can't beat the, the noise um, cancellation on these. Um, it's great when you need to concentrate on some task at hand or when you're, say, flying on an airplane. So I carry these guys. The um, battery life is pretty decent too. Although so much of our lives, especially at work, have become digital these days, there's still a role for a couple old-fashioned analog tools, and one of those is your pen. Um, for me, I find that instead of typing a note, it's still just easier and faster to just write it down on paper. And when I'm trying to illustrate a point, especially when I'm teaching, it's a lot, lot more intuitive to be able to do it pen to paper than using a stylus on the surface of my iPad. The pen I like to carry is, is this one. It's the Meisterstück Legrand Ballpoint um, from Mont Blanc. I like this pen a lot because um, it's a nice wide bore pen, so it's very, very comfortable in the hand when you're writing. And especially if you're writing a lot, uh, your hand doesn't fatigue quite as fast as if you, it would if you were holding a more kind of thinner pen. The balance of this pen is, is great and the fit and finish are, are really, really beautiful. It's really, in my opinion, the ideal pen. Um, I have a soft spot in my heart for Art Deco and Streamline Modern design language, and this pen doesn't feel out of place in that sort of world. And it's one of the reasons why this is part of my everyday kit as well. Another piece of kit I carry every day are these, just my keys. Two things to show you. First, this guy, it's a key organizer from Orbit Key. I kind of like it because it keeps some of my keys nice and tidy and prevents things from getting too jingle jangly when this uh, keychain's in my pocket. And the other item is this, it's just an Apple AirTag, just so that uh, I have a sporting chance of finding this if I misplace it at home or the keychain falls behind you know, some object or you know, between the cushions of my sofa. I like to drink coffee when I'm working, and I carry my coffee in this guy. This is a stainless steel water bottle from Zojirushi. This is the 16 ounce version. They sell a 20 ounce version that's bigger, and they also sell a smaller one if I remember too. Of all the water bottles I've owned, I've owned many, including ones from like Yeti and Stanley, nothing touches this guy in terms of keeping whatever beverage you're drinking nice and insulated keeps your coffee piping hot. I mean, there have been days where I didn't drink my coffee at all. And when I'm pouring out my coffee into the sink at like 9 p.m., the coffee I had made at 6 a.m. Um, earlier in the day, the coffee's still piping hot. So it's an incredibly um, great water bottle. The latching lid on top that's, uh, is, is, is great. Not only is it super secure, I've never had it accidentally open. Despite it being so secure, it is easy to open when you want to. And final thing is, this sucker is durable. I've accidentally dropped it so many times and it has never leaked. So of all of the um, things I carry with me, I'd say this is probably the fit my favorite one. So there you have it. Those are the items I carry every day when I'm at work and oftentimes when I'm not at work too. I'd like to know what you carry too. Feel free to Leave a message behind the comments sharing what you carry. Well, hopefully this was fun. I found it fun at least. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.